Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob Hoffman from the Master Circle Global, and I have an unbelievable, breathtaking interview coming up with a company called Nano V. I'm sure the overwhelming majority of you have not heard of them, but once you listen and watch this interview, you're going to want to know a lot more and dive in at the deep end of that pool. Right now, we get to speak with Hans, who is the founder and the CEO of the company. Uh, this is a company that many of our doctors are now using and getting unbelievable clinical results. So first, Hans, welcome onto the call. Hello, Bob. Thank you very much for having me here. You're, you're very welcome. And thank you for your precious time and your knowledge and what you've contributed. So in a short sentence, Nano V finds a way to prevent and reverse cellular damage. And it's unique and highly effective in promoting well-being, performance, and recovery. That statement alone should pique your interest and you want to know more about this. I got to tell you, before we dive in with Hans, I am introduced to, because of my position in the profession, literally dozens of new technologies every year. Some are crazy expensive. Some don't really fit. Some are duplications of other technology that's out there. There's nothing I know in the marketplace like Nano V. And if I were in practice, I would have this in my office in the blink of an eye. So Hans, let's dig in a little bit. Everyone watching this knows that proteins are the most important molecules in the body, the building blocks, and that they orchestrate all of our biochemical processes. How do these proteins get damaged and lose their function? Yeah. Um... The proteins, which are the most important biomolecules, as you mentioned, yeah, are three-dimensionally formed chain of amino acids. Yeah? So the DNA tells RNA what kind of amino acids should be chained together. The proteins have to fold, and, and when they reach the correct three-dimensional shape, they can execute their function. These uh, proteins are sometimes 10,000 in one cell. They sense, execute, stop, accelerate biochemical reactions. Yeah? So um, these proteins are very weak molecules. Anything in the environment that is out of their uh, stay, uh, framework of being uh, could damage them. So we have most damaging components are free radicals. The free radicals don't even have to connect with the protein to damage it. The protein the free radical can react with another molecule, for example, with an antioxidant right next to a protein. Any kind of chemical reactions create heat. Proteins are heat sensitive and they will lose their shape. Yeah? Uh, they only have to lose a little bit their structural shape and they are not working anymore. We have other environmental impacts, like the temperature, body temperature. If we have fever, we know we damage proteins so badly that we could die. Uh, we have radiation from the environment. We have um, chemical toxicity components getting in our body that can wreck. So we have, during our lifetime, any given moment in day, damages to proteins who lose their function. So let me stop you there for just a moment. In your opinion, in your expertise, what percentage of the population has damage to protein or an abnormal or malfunctioning folding process? Damaged proteins have everybody. Because damaged proteins, the loss of protein functions is basically the cause of aging. Uh, whenever you lose your performance, you feel that you physically or mentally not performing as the day before or some time in the past, it's a sign of lost protein function. Worst case scenario, we have people with chronic diseases. Chronic diseases are all lost function yeah, that manifests themselves in a certain kind of medical picture that we call a critical, uh, chronic disease. Yeah? So it is absolutely not possible for us to avoid the damage of the proteins. Yeah? But now with the technology, we are interested how could we repair and assist the repair of damaged protein to delay the accumulation of damages a little bit further. Perfect, perfect. Another interesting part of this is something called EZ water. 
I'd love you to talk just briefly about what is easy water and mm -hmm. uh, how does Nano V assist in the formation of easy water? And since everybody has damaged proteins and that's what speeds up and accelerates the aging process, the disease process, the damage, the generation and disease, what mm -hmm. role does easy water have to play in that? Yeah. Uh, easy water is a terminology out of material science and is part of water science. Uh? So we don't know or we didn't know very much about water. Uh, since the last 40 years, we accumulate more knowledge. So EZ stays for exclusion zone water. We have also other terminologies like force phase or ordered water. Yeah? Some rare combination also said structured water, but that has sometimes a different other meaning. Yeah? And easy water is part of every kind of water. Yeah? It is part of water, but it is a state of water only on very, very small scale on surfaces. Yeah? So you cannot have a glass of water made out of easy water. That's not possible. Yeah? It is only a very on very, very small structures. So proteins, I mentioned in the beginning, they're built out of amino acids. Yeah? But the entire being of a protein, we also have to look at the environment where they are in. And they are in the water of the cells. Uh, cells are extremely small. The proteins are even smaller. And uh, the um, attribute of water, the EZ water, is visible and is important for those small components. Yeah? So the EZ water has a higher order. Yeah? The folding process is a process of change of um, entropy. Yeah? It's a thermodynamic process to reach a higher order for the protein because it has to go to low order to the high order. It needs a donation of the order, and that comes from the easy water, from the ordered water that builds on the surface of the chain of amino acids. In the moment the protein folds, the easy water loses its water and has to get built up again. No. That is an ongoing process in all living species. You know, it's so interesting. I, I didn't know any of this information before our conversation right now. All I know is lots of master circle doctors are using Nano V with great, great consistent results. But what you're sharing with me makes a ton of sense why all different types of patients are getting such great results with it. You know, when I mentioned before, Hans, that I get information about so much technology that's just exploding in the marketplace. One of the things that I look for, it's not a requirement, but it is a preference, is that piece of technology a registered medical device? So could you speak about that? Is NanoV registered as a medical device? Yes, NanoV is a registered medical device in the US, in, in Europe, you know, and in other countries. Um, that is depends on many things. Yeah. Number one, what is a product actually doing? Has an effect, has it an approved effect on the physiology? And it's a medical device. Yeah? The next thing is how it is explained. Yeah? Is, it, is the explanation, is the labeling of the product becoming a medical lab labeling, then it has to be registered as a medical device. So the medical device registration requires a lot of other things. Yeah? Number one is that those claims that uh, all those explanations yeah, are definitely proven for this kind of device. Yeah? Not uh, that I say, okay, I, I have vitamin, whatever kind of vitamin in my drink, yeah? and then I tell you something what this vitamin is doing, but I don't prove that actually this vitamin is actually in my drink and that my drink is doing. Yeah? So in this case, we needed to have a lot of independent studies, evaluations. If what we say, what we are doing is um, in, a, in the line of context yeah? and not a coincident, uh, and then if these claims are actually getting performed on on, on the humans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So using Nano V obviously assists in the repair of the damaged protein. Therefore, it um, regenerates all protein function and actually slows down or delays the aging process. But there has to be specific benefits for the doctors listening to this in the areas of health, wellness, and performance 
Could you just give us a short list of some of the types of problems you've seen great results with? Yeah, uh, like I said, we can see the loss of protein function uh, on ourselves. Uh, mental, physical performance goes down. So that is an entire performance area. Uh? And it doesn't matter if you are um, an active sports person uh, or a mental high performer uh, that could start as a race car driver and could end as a high-end manager in an office uh, where you run basically a marathon with your brain every day. Uh? Whenever you do this, you metabolize more oxygen. More metabolizing more oxygen means more free radical, free radicals, more damage, faster accumulation of damages, and so on. You don't go down somewhere in certain kind of areas. So you can address all these performance people. Yeah? Then you have the next group, which recognizes that their performance went down. Yeah? The next group is more the health area, where people accumulated so much damage that they have a health issue already. Yeah? You can address this to these people. And there is a very, very big, and I, I like this group very much, is the wellness, the prevention people. Yeah? Prevention, you do prevention because of two different things. One thing is bad experience. You will not do it again. Yeah? The next thing is education. You know, if you don't do this, then that and that will happen. Yeah? So this kind of prevention tool is so widespread now today yeah, that goes into corporate wellness yeah, and uh, in, in things where I do something to keep my performance high and my health high. So that is a group of all the customers that your clients actually address every day and see every day. So basically, you can use our technology to them, to all of them. Yeah? Beautiful, beautiful. I know our time is running short, and I know the doctors watching and listening to this just want some more of the practical. So if you wouldn't mind just giving me a specific short answer, what's the protocol? Does a session last how long? How frequently should those sessions take place? Um, how long do you need to continue to do this? Can you just, in the next 30 or 60 seconds, just respond to that? Yeah, the best thing is the if would be a session length of 30 minutes. Yeah? Uh, but we keep it variable. Yeah? It has to be in everybody's comfort level. Yeah? So if you time is an, is an issue today, yeah? if somebody only has 25 minutes time, do it in 25 minutes. We can combine our treatment with all other treatments. So if you have a treatment that takes, takes 40 minutes, combine it and use it 40 minutes, the client will have more. Yeah? It could be a standalone, even in the waiting room, it could be a standalone device, yeah? but you can combine it with any other things. If you can give a massage and at the same time you can use it and, and those things. Yeah? But do you do, um, this one, do you do this for the average patient once a month, once a day, twice a week? What's the, the general um, protocol here? Once a week would be great if you can do it. Yeah? Ah. If you can do it more often, even better. Uh, because the damaging event that you do your body depends on your lifestyle. Uh, it depends on uh, how often that uh, recurring event like the damage happens. Yeah? Do you run every day half a marathon? Yeah? Do you exhaust yourself every day? Then you should do more often. Yeah? Right. If you address only a certain kind of condition where you expect more performance from the body, for example, for wound healing, then you do this for the time of the wound healing. When that is over, you stop it. Yeah? Prevention-wise, you would go on with it as often as you can do. Perfect, perfect. And let's talk finances just for a moment. Um, mm -hmm. Doctors who are interested, and I certainly recommend and hope that every doctor is interested, and I'll give you contact information for Hans in just a moment. But what do most doctors tend to charge for a session? Yeah, we have a little bit of feedback, and it depends if they use it as standalone or in combination with other treatments. Yeah, that could be between thirty-five and seventy-five dollars. Yeah, it could go even higher. Yeah, and how long they they charge for it? Yeah? Um, the devices are possible to use with multiple people per day. Yeah? they don't need any maintenance, so there are no costs beside it, beside a little bit of distilled water. Um, the devices. Can last 20 years if you don't damage them and throw them down yeah and we see a return of investments of these devices of around three months yeah? in three months because we also have something else that we built in and that is a smart card reader system yeah where uh, minutes are getting programmed with a device on a smart card 
and you can sell those smart cuts. You sell basically up into the future treatments yeah, or sessions that it helps you to recoup the money faster. Yeah? And it also makes clear for the client, I have here something that I can come in again and use again, yeah? or I can even share with somebody else. Yeah. So, so these are tools to make it even possible to bring this technology to everybody. So, yeah, and uh, I have to imagine if a practice is already highly populated, very busy, they probably can recoup that investment in less in uh, thirty days or less. Yes, yes, yeah. it, it can go extremely fast. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, so, ladies and gentlemen, great technology for a problem we all know about that everybody, including you, have that will really help slow down and reverse the damage, the aging process, keep those proteins functioning better, uh, keep the folding process functioning better, allowing you to maintain your youth and your vitality much, much longer. This is a universal issue, a universal problem, and now we have a universal solution to it that's relatively inexpensive, easy to do, doesn't take much time, is painless, and from a business model, depending on how slow or busy or moderate your practice is, you could probably recoup your investment in somewhere between 30 and 90 days. After that, it's all profitable. Hans, last question for the doctors watching and listening to this, how would they get in touch with Nano V or with you so they could find out more or order? Yeah, uh, one thing is simply Google Nano V. Uh, you will find us on the internet. Our company is called Eng3 Corporation, uh, um, and the website for our website is eng3corp.com. Uh, That's eng3.com. Corp.com, yes. Mm -hmm. Or, or N-A-N-O-V-I, Nano-V, they can learn more about it there. And is on either one of those sites, I'm sure there is an 800 number to reach you or an email address to reach you as well. Great. Of course, that is that is all there. Yeah. And a very, another question sometimes in the uh, from the clients is how can I explain it very easy to a customer? Because we were talking, you know, 20 minutes. We have a very very easy thing that is part when you get a device. Yeah. You know, we have a chain of amino acids unfolded. They are not working. Yeah. They have to fold. Now the amino acid is a protein. Now that works. Yeah, aging we lose this. That is an easy explanation. Yeah, and what we saw is being used at university to educate students what is protein folding. Yeah. So, Hans, I know how busy you are. You're doing a great job. I I am grateful for you. And once again, for the people who are watching this, and I certainly hope so many of you are. Or if you want to share this with your colleagues. This is a must-have tool, and I'm urging you to get in touch with NanoV or ENG3. E -N -G um, contact Hans. Find out more. If you have trouble reaching them, reach me at bob at themasterscircle.net, and I'll be happy to put you in touch with NanoV and with Hans. Um, but this, in my opinion, is something that everyone would benefit from, including you and your family. Hans, thank you so much again and have an awesome day. Thank you very much, Bob.